Hey, you too. I'll see you next week. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You go ahead and drop. <laughs> <laughs> I love, the way right she, behind you. I love the way she made a comment about him being, nobody likes him. And then I'm like, what are you talking about? He's a nice horse. I know, I love branded him. Orlin, uh, branded Zweibrucker. And then two seconds later, she goes, he's so cute. I know. <laughs> he's one of the cutest. Yes, he, he loves to just Go please keep people. Keep working you on that tell. flexion as you push him into that trot. Am I ready? Yes, I want him that way. Yeah, so the, see, he, now he can, he can drop down and have room. If you were shorter, he would drop his neck and, and he wouldn't be able to lift his shoulders. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Take some contact now because he's bracing off you. Push him forward. Hold that right flexion a little bit and then let go. Yep. All right, and that's for the canner. Sit down. It's okay. He's trying to figure it out. He's trying to run away from you in the front instead of come from behind. So if you sit forward on him, you're pushing him down in the front. Yeah. Okay, let's try it again. Sit down, push him forward. Yeah, see how you pushed him forward with your seat? That's all right. Push him forward. Come on, he's like, his hind end is just dragging. Push, push, squeeze him, squeeze him. Let your hands light. Good. Yeah, squeeze him. Don't sit so deep. Sit a little bit lighter. Good. So his back can come up. Yes. Squeezing right leg, inside leg a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Good, don't pull, don't pull. Keep his inside ring, yep. Yeah. Good, don't sit too deep. Yes, that's good. Very good, give him a pat. Okay, so the, the, the main issue is his hind end keeps going out behind him instead of tucking and coming underneath him. Let's change directions. Hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> 